one in. So I thought it was frost at first actually. It's actually flurry in now. This is all gonna go away and it's gonna turn to rain. Can you please stick on the car? I'm a wolfy flurry, so hopefully this won't last too long. It's just start coming down. Pete just left of course, he's driving an hour and a half up into Connecticut to pick up some products for a job he's doing next week. And Ash has work, but she has work later on today, and I think this is supposed to be all done with soon. I don't think it's supposed to last long at all. Get my errands done before Katie comes this afternoon and Ash has to go to work. And like I said, Pete's on his way an hour and a half away. And they usually get it a little worse where he's headed, so I just hope that this really doesn't stay too long. This has happened before where we get snow like this and then an hour or two later it's totally gone. I just hope there's no shoveling involved because I don't think my back can take it today and the snow blower, we need to get a new carburetor for it, Pete said, or something like that. Hey guys, I'm going to finish getting ready. I, um, I got mascara on one eye. Oop, you can't even see anyway. Camera angles, Sue, it's all... There, I don't know if you can see. That's so funny. This would be my, i start doing other things, I could go around like this all day, so I'm going to put the other mascara on now, before we have some problems. So this is my horoscope today, what do you reckon? Today is an excellent day for you, for you Sue, in which you will find that things flow naturally in the exact way that you visualize them. You might even find that things actually go, wait hold on, you might even find that things actually go much better than you had envisioned them. Have confidence that things will work out, okay? The whole world is not out to get you. Are you sure about that? <laughs> In fact, they are probably more concerned about themselves to even be bothered with what you are up to. <laughs> Food for thought. This is how I read it. Today is an excellent day for you, Sue, in which you will find things flow naturally. Ha ha, we're just kidding. In the exact way that you visualize them, not really. You might even find that things actually go much better than you envisioned them. Could they be any worse? Have confidence that things will work out for you. You unconfident thing, you. The whole world is not out to get you, but it really is. In fact, they're probably more concerned about themselves, while that is definitely true, to be even bothered about what you're up to. Who are you anyway? Hi guys, it is 20 past 10 and I am just sitting here watching Steve's vlog. Just watching the snow, which is now dwindling, so hopefully that's it. It was enough, a bit more than a covering. So um, I'm going to have to clean out a little bit before I can go out and get my errands done. But I'm just minding my own business, getting ready, watching the vlogs. And the business phone rings, I pick it up, and I just got blasted. From one side, up one side and down the other. I was shaking. I just called Pete. I was shaking. I was so mad. I just want to say, don't take my kindness for weakness. I am not a weak person, but I am getting to the point with all these people that are calling and picking that I'm ready to, whoosh, like the 4th of July, I'm done. So now I'm going to go finish watching this lovely vlog and the rest of the day is going to get better. I thought my my horoscope said things were going to be better than expected today. <laughs> <coughs> Good news is, it's gone down to a very minimum flurry now, so as long as I can clean off the car and turn, I'll go and shovel out behind the cars, because we need to get the cars out, and I'll go get my errands done in a little while, and I think I'm going to Starbucks for a coffee. Oh, yes, I am. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. So we just got our delivery. Bye, mister. Thank you. See, it's getting quite deep. That's where the um, thing was going into the side of the house. I'm going to have to start digging, otherwise Ash's car won't go out. There's our lovely tank. Now that only put us... We just took 100 gallons till we can find out exactly what's going on with the leak. But here's our lovely snow blower that's not working. And there's oranges underneath, but I'm too cold to grab everything. Why are you going in Roxy's cage? Come on, upstairs, too cold down here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. Sorry, I've got apples in my hand now. But this is what's leaking. Pete's put some cat kitty litter in it, but it's leaking out the front here. So that's not good. 
It's coming down more and more. It's supposed to be stopping. Who's out there, Lou? You looking at the guy shoveling? Martin Jeff. Who's coming? No one. Like two little kids dying to get outside. What's happening, Rex? Here we go again, eh, Ash? Okay, we just shoveled. And before we get comfortable, we're gonna go deliver A1 and get some lunch and a Starbucks. Yes, Ash. Yeah. The roads are clear already. Where we shoveled, it's melting. And by tomorrow, it'll all be gone. It's gonna be 50 degrees. <laughs> Which is craziness. But yeah, all the roads are clear. And they haven't even had people plowing. It's just clear. Go fish. That is one big Rice Krispie treat. How is it? <laughs> As always. And then we're going with the... Thank you. Hey guys, it is 3.26. I'm just waiting for Katie. The van was late today. I just saw it pull up about 10 minutes ago. Ash left for work and she will not be home till closing. She's there till about 11, I think. I just made myself a nice iced coffee in my new Starbucks mug. This is one of the rose gold. I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> um, I asked the lady like an idiot. I said, is this good for hot drinks as well? Not realizing or clicking on. And as she started, I said, wait, that's a stupid question. And we both said it at the same time. It's a metal straw. Don't think you want to drink hot drinks out of a metal straw without burning your lips off. So anyway, I've got a lady coming by to pick up these pictures in about 15 minutes. So I have to watch for the dogs because Roxy gave me a tough time yesterday when I was trying to catch her when people kept coming to the door. And um, it's really hard on my back, especially because she's so fast and she's so little. Louis is very whiny this afternoon. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's because people are coming and going so much and he's getting a little bit stressed. But he's just laying here and whinging. Um, Pete came in. He was at the meeting this morning picking up all that product that he's got to take pictures of. It's a big, 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 big job. And uh, it's good that he's got it. It's going to take him some time, but he's going to do it here because by the time he rents some studio space to do it, it's just going to be prolonging the job. So he thought he was just going up to pick up the product, get an overview of what needed to be done, but he was in a meeting with them. Oh, here comes Kate. He was in a meeting with them for about four hours. She's coming over with all her stuff. All right, I'm going to go because i got to catch Roxy now and let Katie in the door. It's going to be a barking, yapping across with her or is he letting her come herself? Yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh and the check came. One of the checks came. Yippee. Talk to you later. Bye. Good evening. And then Pete was gone till about 7.30 because he went right. He came in for two seconds, picked up his cameras, went and did one of the team pictures and he had the yearbook meeting and then he um, went over to his mum and dad's to borrow a couple of kerosene heaters to put in the garage when he's shooting some of these products for this job that he picked up today. So he was in that meeting till 1.30 um, this afternoon, uh, yeah, from 10 o'clock. So then he ordered grilled chicken sandwiches for dinner. I think he had chicken palm or something like that. And we just had some salad, mozzarella and tomato salad. So it was really good. But my camera was up here, so I didn't vlog any of it. Um, just catching up on the day really and I can't believe it is already 8.30 at night and I am exhausted today. So tomorrow the only thing I think I'm going to be going out to do is the grocery shopping and uh, that's about it really. Pete's going to come with me to do that. Ash has to be at work and then Sunday and Monday she has overnight. You can definitely tell it's getting a bit milder out. Um, where we shoveled the driveway and the walkways and everything it's nice and clear so I'm glad we didn't leave it I'm glad we chose to shovel it because it's not icy at all anymore 
I uh, was playing around with my talking pets and I did a rock thing and I sent it to Ashley. I thought it'd make her laugh at work and she goes, that's so creepy. And I put it on my Facebook page and another lady did one and it's just funny. But I'm going to do one for Louis tomorrow. I was just playing around with it and having some fun. Um, Steve, I hope, I hope Sophie is feeling a lot better today. Poor little thing, I just watched your vlog where she wasn't well and you can just definitely see it in her little face. Poor little mite, but I hope she's feeling better. Mom, I will call you tomorrow. I've gone to pick up the phone several times this week and the phone has just been madness. What else guys? There's nothing on TV. Friday nights are the worst night on TV. So I was just starting to watch Big Brother Online, the English one of course, because that's the only one that I know that's on right now. But my question for you guys is, what are you all doing this weekend? I hope some of you are going out and having some fun. I'm going to live vicariously through you lot this weekend. If it is warmer and not raining, even though tomorrow we are told we're going to be getting a lot of rain, and we've already got flood warnings in effect for tomorrow because they're saying the ground is so frozen <coughs> that we're supposed to get two inches of rain tomorrow and there's nowhere for it to go. It's not going to go in the ground because the ground is frozen solid. So they said watch out for your basement. Now our basement does have a tendency to flood a little bit in the boiler room which is a small room where I showed you where the leak was. I think that was today right? So you, you would have seen it by now. And I think Sunday it's supposed to be brighter but like I told you before Pete's going into the city. He's got track meet that he wants to go get candids of. So he's going to run to the English store for me and just grab some bacon and a couple of pork pies because I've changed my mind. I do want pork pies. <laughs> I haven't had them in a couple of weeks because I've been throwing them away which is not good. So he'll just probably pick up a couple of the small. On that note I'm going to love and leave you guys. I hope you had a wonderful week. Hope your Friday was good and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys. Have a good night.